The secret things belong unto God and to the Lord our God. Please take that scripture deeply. The sacred things belong unto the Lord our God. But those things which are revealed, they belong to us and to our children. Forever that we may do all the words that are written in the law. Nobody knows when you are to be born. You never chose where to be born. But there is there are choices you made in life. The schools you'll attend, who you will marry, the career you will have, when you will marry, and even you had goals when to pass exams and get your certificates. But the day siku, you will be called home, nyumbani, nobody knows. I may be standing here, hapa, not knowing how many sermons I'm yet to preach. Kujua, ni mangapi kufanya bado. These things are a secret, they are a mysteries. Mambo haya ni asiri, ni tu. Benjamin Kipruto is a friend of mine. Askofu Benjamin Kipruto is a brother, yangu, ni ndugu. is a colleague. Ye, ye, ni we have served together, pamoja. we have done a lot of things together. We have seen the children born and raised. We have shared a lot. We planted the work of God in Kericho and in Bomet. And today we can celebrate a legend in the person of Benjamin Kipruto. How many churches do we have in Bomet? Over 200 and what? Over 200 in Kericho? 180. I don't know of a preacher that has multiplied himself like Benjamin Kipruto. Put your hands together and celebrate this giant of a man. You know, Faith Kipiegon broke the world record two days ago. And I love athletics. But the record that has been broken, and I salute Faith Chebiegon. I salute Benjamin Kipruto. The giant of a man. Continue in the journey. Fight on servants of God. I want to talk on the resurrection briefly. And I wish to prosecute my case from 1 Corinthians 15. 1 Corinthians 15. Verse number 1. Moreover, brethren, when I declare to you the gospel which I preached to you, which also you have received, and wherein you stand. Basi ndugu zangu na warifu ili injili ni wawubiria ambayo ndiyo mlio ipokea na katika hiyo ikawa mmesimama. By which you are also saved. Na kwa hiyo mkaokolewa. If you keep in memory what I preached to you. Ikiwa mnaishika sana. Unless you believed in vain. Ikiwa mnaishika sana maneno ni liyo wawubiria isipokuwa mlia mini bure. For I deliver to you first of all that which I also received. How that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. And that he was buried. And that he rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. And that they were seen of Cephas then of 
chapter 12. After that, he was seen above 500 brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain to this present day. But some are fallen asleep. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Why? Do bad things happen to good people? Number one, they happen because we live in a depraved world. We live in a fallen world. We live in a world which has been touched by the devil. And there is coming a day when the devil is going to face the music. He will receive his eternal punishment. He has a place and is doomed angels. And there is a place for those ones who believe in the Lord. God has not been defeated. It is not that God is not in charge of the world. The sequence of events they are programmed in the eternal purposes of God. Eternity past, present, and eternity future. And that's why we talk of Jesus Christ. The same yesterday, today, and forever. We have no fear. We know that we have a place where we will spend our time forever in the forever and forever with our Mecca. Hallelujah. We are only given a short time to be here in Kenya. Maybe 80 years Maybe 90 or maybe 100. I have just buried my father who was 102. And he was able to read the Bible at 100. And he blessed us before he left. There is a place where people go. And they know where they are going. We will never, never Never, never give up. And I want to say, Aluta continua. The struggle continues. One day, if we are found alive, we shall see him descending from the sky. And forever shall be with him. Somebody wave your hand at me and say, Hallelujah. 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 The Apostle Paul says, I gave you the gospel. That gospel I received. It. And that is the gospel that has made us to stand. I have been standing since December 18, 1970. I stood as a young man. I stood and I got my wife. I stood and we raised the children. I'm standing as a grandparent. I'm standing as a preacher. I'm standing as a leader. And I will never ever give up. If you are with me, say yes. This gospel we receive we stand in it. Which also we are saved. This is what was preached to you. Unless you believed in vain. My brother Nicholas Kirui. I saw you as a young man. I saw you as a teacher in Kisi. I have seen you as a grandparent. We are still standing. Somebody say hallelujah.
You know, I speak from my history where I have a lot of facts. I have wept over Kericho. I have prayed over Bomet. My heart is in this region. And I don't come as an outsider. I have preached. I have baptized people in the river Chepsonoi. And I saw snakes wiggling as I was baptizing people. Ah. We prayed for people the Holy Spirit came down and nobody was able to go to bed. The dining hall was not able to contain the people. We carried people out as if they were dead. That was a mighty visitation of the Holy Spirit. When I look at Bishop today Rotich. I have photographs where we took pictures as young people. The wife to Bishop. People like Talam. Tanui, I know you. And there are so many of you. We have heard the visitation of the Lord. We believed in this gospel. We shall stand in this gospel. To those Hallelujah. of you that are following us online, you are in Kenya. You are outside Kenya. We come on your way. And we are telling you. We are not giving up. If a soldier has fallen. We drag back the body. We carry on with our guns. We cock them up. We are ready to fire. 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 I want you to do what I'm doing. We are involved in a battle. Everybody stand up. Stand up in the church. We are on the battlefront. We are on the battlefront. Everybody take your position. Fire! 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 Hallelujah. Give the Lord a club and a shout. Hallelujah. My heart goes back to 1974. May we be when I preached in tears, when I prayed and I fasted, the gospel we received has saved us. It has sustained us. We do not believe in vain. We are not agnostics. Si, 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 watu wa wana mungu. Wana mungu. We are not secular humanists. Si, si, people si, who have no wa room for wengu. miracles. Watu wana ya mujiza. Neither are we LGBTQ. Wala, si, 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 wale mashoga. Paul says I deliver to you first of all. That Christ died for our sins. My sins were taken care of at the cross. At the cross, at the cross where I first saw the light. And the burdens of sin were rolled away. Dini yangu ya dhambi, Yesu. Pare mu sarabani Nidi pe wa usimam Deni ya dambi Mi 
sarabani ere mali sekia ni huru kabisa if you know your sins are forgiven lift up your hand and say hallelujah ikiwa unajua dhambi zako zimesamehewa inua mkono na useme hallelujah Timothy Kamau Timothy Kamau used to have that song from Kijabe Alikuwa na imba wimbo huo kutoka Kijabe This is what that old man used to, to say Hivi ndivyo huyo mzee alikuwa akisema Nani angepokea msamao Mwenye dhambi kama Timothy Kamau Who have received forgiveness Mungu amenisamehe God has forgiven me Niko huru kabisa I am free indeed I want you to know Nataka ujue Those words on VOK arrested me Maneno hayo katika VOK yaliniteka nyara And that's why Na hiyo ndio maana I preach on radio and television Ninahubiri kwenye redio na television the gospel was delivered. Injili ilitolewa. Paul received it in verse number 3. Paulo akaipokea katika mstari wa 3. What was the gospel? Injili ilikuwa ni Christ died for our sins. Ya kwamba Kristo alikufa kwa ajili ya dhambi zetu. Yesu alitufilia. Hallelujah. Tusihubiri mengine. Mm -hmm. Let's not preach anything else. Tusihubiri motivation. Let's not uh, motivate. Tusilete maneno ya ulimwengu. Let's not bring Tubiri. Injiri inayo sababisha That causes Musama Forgiveness Kwa dhambi Of sin I know I am saved Ninajua ni meokoka Hallelujah Ninajua ni liokoka I know I was saved I came home 1970 Nilikuja huku mwaka wa sabini 19th morning December Asubuhi ya tarehe 19 December. And I told my sister Bosibori, our firstborn. Na yangu Bosibori kifungua mimba wetu. I'm saved. Nimeokoka. She looked at me. Akanitazama. A typical kissy woman. Aha, mwanamke kamili wa kikisi. <laughs> Akacheka. Tiga torore. Wacha tuone. Wacha tuone. Na ameona na yeye pia akaokoka. Hallelujah. She also got saved. That gospel saves. Injili hiyo inaokoa. That gospel delivers. Injili hiyo inakomboa. That gospel changes. Injili hiyo inabadilisha. That gospel transforms. Injili hiyo inageuza. That gospel raises churches. Injili hiyo inanua makanisa. That gospel is a power. Injili hiyo ni nguvu. That gospel is available. Injili hiyo. That gospel is for Kericho. Injili hiyo ni That gospel is for Kenya. Injili hiyo ni Kenya. That gospel is for the world. Injili hiyo ni aulimu. Hallelujah. I want to preach. I want you to see verse number four. And that he was buried. And that he rose again on the third day. According to the scriptures. And that he was buried. That means Jesus died. There is a pathological report. Which was given by the Roman soldiers. Because they speared him. Blood and water came out. He hung on the cross. They were not able to break his legs. Because he was dead, dead. He was buried. And he rose again on the third day. The argument is. The grave was known. He was crucified. They confirmed his death. He was put on a known grave. And about 15 men were needed to push the stone to cover it. And there was a seal from the Roman government. Sixteen soldiers kept watch 
the intervals of four every two hours they changed them and if you fell asleep you were burned alive with your clothes now the question is people argue that the body was stolen by the disciples did the disciples have the capacity and the ability to plan for a major plan of smuggling a dead body. Je, wanafunzi walikuwa na mpango thabiti wa kuja kuiba mwili waliyekufa. I stand before this court listening to my case as I interrogate the case. Ninasimama mbele ya koti hii wanaposikiliza ninapotoa maneno katika koti hii. They did not have the capacity. Hawakuwa na uwezo. They were not prepared. They couldn't challenge the Roman government at that time. And it makes it very difficult for me to begin to understand what they could have done with the dead body. And if ever that body was stolen, the National Intelligence Service of the Roman government should have reported that quickly. And in the next few days, they should have raised the body brought it to the streets of Jerusalem to stop the propaganda. Na that was never done. I continue to argue further. And I say that he was buried. Na nasema alizikwa. And he rose on the third day. Na alifufuka siku ya tatu. Jesus did not go into a coma. Yesu hakuwa katika it koma. It is not possible a weak man who had been tormented that he had the power ameteswa. to push a stone of 15 people ya watu and they would come out strong. Na angetoka akiwa na nguvu. That was never done. Hiyo so that argument does not stand I pocket. Kwa hiyo kup, huko the Bible says he rose on the third day. Nasema, siku ya tatu. The word rise means a hero. Ah, it kufuka. means Anastasia. Inamanisha. It means he came back to life. There was a major earthquake. Kukawa na wa ardi mkubwa. It has been recorded by secular historians. Imewe People that did not believe in God, they say there was a major earthquake. Historians from the Greek world and the Roman world have attested to that. And I'm here to argue my case. I stand with an eminent scholar, the Apostle Paul. And Paul states clearly, Paul is wazi. not a mental case. Paul is wazi. not a psychiatric Paulo case. He says Jesus was from the dead. Wafu. On the third day, siku ya tatu. third day means three days. Siku ya tatu siku Going siku by the tatu. calendar that was used by the Romans then, he was buried and he rose again on the third day. The argument continues. Uh, he was lea. seen by Cephas, who is called Peter. Then there Petro. were 12 people. Na na watu kumi na wawili. There is no record that ever Peter was admitted for insanity. Hakuna rekodi kwamba Petro aliwekwa wodi kwa sababu ya uenda wazimu. There is no any evidence to argue that the twelve were poisoned or they were dragged to testify they saw Jesus. Hakuna ithibati kwamba wale kumi na wawili walipewa dawa ili waweze kushuhudia My case is further strengthened kesi yangu inatiwa nguvu that he was seen by 500 brethren ya kwamba alionwa na wandugu at one time. 500 people cannot be hallucinated in mass. Watu miatano hawezi kuwa wanathi the Bible says 500 people saw him. That means my Lord 
rose from the dead. That means it's alive forevermore. The Bible says it's Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and the end. He says I'm the resurrection and the life. He says I'm alive forevermore. Great men have died. Philosophers have died. Politi politicians have died. Founders of religions have died. None of them must come back to say he's alive. There is only one. Socrates is in the grave. Plato is in the grave. The heralds of Egypt are in the grave. The Greek philosophers are in the grave. There is one who is alive forevermore. His name is Jesus. Hallelujah. I preach to you. Jesus, the resurrection. And the life. Na uhai. Peter saw him. Petro alimuona. The twelve saw him. Wale kumina wawili wali muona. He was seen by over 500 people. Aliyone kanana zaidi ya watu miatano. Those of you who are lawyers. Wale ambao ni umamakili. And you are prosecutors. Na nyinyi ni wale ambao ni wasimamizi wa koti. To adduce evidence out of 500 people. Kutoa ushahidi kutoka kwa watu miatano. Assuming that it will take two minutes. Ukifikiria kwa ma itachukua na kikambili. You will need to 48 hours for those people to testify. Utaitaji muda wa saish Arubaini na nane watu hao kushuhudia The magistrate and the court Is going to say I'm tired I've got to go home Hakimu atasema Amechoka anahitaji kwenda nyumbani The evidence is overwhelming Ushahidi unatupiku He rose from the dead Alifufuka kutoka kwa wafu Lift up your hand and say He rose from the dead Inamkono wako juna useme Alifufuka kutoka kwa wafu And uh Paul argues and says, the people that saw him, they were alive in his lifetime. And he says, if you want to adduce any further evidence, they can go to the office of the DCIO headquarters, Kiambu to give evidence. After that, he was seen by James. This is very curious to hear James is mentioned. James was a brother to Jesus. And for a long time, he never believed that Jesus was the son of God. May I inform the audience? James was a pastor of the church in Jerusalem. A church which had over 100,000 people. 10,000 were only workers. What a legacy. What a faith we believe in. And then Paul says, Lastly, he was seen by me. I'm the least of the apostles to be called an apostle. I persecuted the church. You know, the word apostle is not a church word. It was a church used by the Greek world. These were ambassadors and the envoys that were sent out. They went to colonize. And when the church received it, we became the colonizers. We are colonizing the kingdom of the devil. Somebody say yes! Hey. Mm -hmm. Verse number 12. If we 
preach that he rose from the dead. Some of you are saying there is no resurrection of the dead. 13, if there be no resurrection of the dead, then Christ is not risen. The argument continues in verse 14. If Christ is not risen, our preaching is useless and is in vain. And your faith is useless. Then we are found to be false witnesses of God. Because we have testified of God that he raised up Jesus. And yet he was not raised. If so be that the dead rise not. For if they rise not, then Christ is not risen. If Christ is not raised, your faith is hopeless. You are yet in your sins. Then also which are fallen asleep in Christ are perished. Even this life only, we have hope in Christ. We have all we are, uh, we are of all men most miserable. Do I look miserable? Does our mama look miserable? Were the apostles miserable? Were the early church fathers miserable? Are all the churches around the world are miserable. Have we kissed our brains goodbye? Are we perished? That there will be no life. You know the ancient Egyptians buried people with the living. In their tombs. They believed they will go on to the next world. The Asian communities burned the dead. Anticipating you will come back in another life. The Kalenjin people don't want to talk about the dead. If there is a theology you want to work well with the Kalenjin community, don't they discuss so much about the death. Ikiwa kuna theologia na unataka kufanya kuendelea vizuri na wakalenjin tafadhali usizungumze kusu kifo. You know our old men in the Kalenjin community used to say the hyenas are waiting for me. Unajua waze wakale wakipsikisi walikuwa nasema ya kwa mafisi ananisubiri. Others would jump off the crafts. Wengine wangeruka kutoka kwenye mali parevu. They had very little to do with the death. Wahawa kutaka kuhusika na kifu. My people they have a gusi. Watu wangu wale wakisi. Chisokuru chiturari rivia. May the ancestors sleep well with us. Ya kwa mama mabuzetu walale vizuri. I'm here to tell you. Niko hapa kukuambia. I don't subscribe to what the Greeks believed. I don't want to subscribe even to modern science where the doctors tell us, I lost a patient, the experiment failed. I don't want to go back to the grave and contact the dead. I have a message. He died for our sins. He was buried. He rose on the third day. And our belief is not in vain. Hallelujah. On Tuesday, Siku ya jumane, when we rest, the remains of our dear bishop in Keongo is not there. Hayuko. He left. Alienda. That is the house he used to live in. Hiyo ni nyumba He's in the presence of the Lord. Yuko uweponi mwake mungu. He's dancing with the angels. Yeye anacheza na malaika. 
And we are here to encourage you. Na tuko hapa kuahimiza. Let us be reminded. Wacha tukumbushwe. To be absent in the body. Kwamba kukosekana katika uhalisia wa mwili. Is to be present with the Lord. Ni kupatikana na mungu. Jesus is our epitome. Yesu ndiye kilele chetu. Is our evidence. Yeye ndiye ithibati yetu. The ones who saw him, muona, they testified of him. Kumuhusu. Cephas, Sef Kefa, James's brother, Yakobo, kaka yake, the twelve disciples, wale kumina, kumina wawili, and the, over five hundred people na zaidi ya watu will hold on strong. Bado kwa nguvu. Never, never, never Give up. Death is the last enemy. But the apostle Paul asked the death. Where is your sting? Where is your power? Thanks be to God. Is your power? Thanks be to God. Who gives us the victory? This should strengthen the church. This should make this church grow four times now. Because we know where the man of God has gone. And we will never, never, give up. I'm not going back to Egypt. Misery. How many of you are decided to follow Jesus? I have decided to follow Jesus, I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. I sang that song. Hardly before I was 20. And I wept. My heart was arrested. I changed my career. You know, <laughs> I was so fascinated with the people like Stephen Kikumu. Job Isaac Mamto, Job Isaac Mamto. Alfred Michael Mraith. Alfred Mraithi. I was so fascinated sana with the way they were broadcasting. Na jinsi I wanted to sit behind the microphone and bring the news. Nyuma ya na habari. Today, Leo. I broadcast a different news item. Ninatangaza ujumbe tofauti. The gospel of Jesus Christ. Injili ya Yesu Christo. If you are in the service and you do not know the Lord. Ikiwa uko katika ibada hii na umjui Yesu. The only way you can see Benjamin Kipruto is to say yes to the Jesus he preached. Anjia peke ya kumona Benjamin Kipruto ni kusema ndio kwa Yesu alie muhubiri. Put your hand on your heart. Weka mkono wako kwenye moyo wako. Close your eyes. Na ufumbe macho yako. Everyone in the building. Kila moja alie katika jengo hili ufumbe macho yako. Say Lord Jesus. Sema buwana Yesu. You died for me. You died for me. You were buried. You were buried in the grave. In the grave. You rose. You rose after three days. After three days. Today, today, I offer you my heart. I offer you my heart. Come, come 
Change me. Change me. Come. Come. Change me. Change me. I am yours now. I am yours now. And forever. And forever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. How many of you believe that God answers prayer? Put down your hand. How many of you say that was my prayer? Let me see your hand. Let me see your hand. Let me see your hand. May the Lord cause you May the Lord cause you to find a church. Be connected. I love you too much if I will not see you in heaven. My heart will be broken. May I take this time your excellency Pastor Dorcas Rigade to once again say thank you so much and welcome to this home of Deliverance Church, Kericho. I was recently with you when we were celebrating Bishop Masinde's three ceremonies. We shook hands. And today we have shaken hands. We belong to the bigger family. The family of God. Welcome. The children of Bishop Kipruto. Led by Clara. You may wish to stand. The family of Benjamin Kipruto, stand up. Brothers and sisters and the relatives, if they are here. Asante sana, mumetoka kapseriti. Tuko pamoja, munajua mimi ni missionary. Iyo county ya wasinigishu, 6-4. Mungu wa bariki, tuko pamoja asanteni. I'll call you later, Klala. The bishops in the house. Askofu ndani ya nyumba. The pastors in the house. Achungaji ndani ya nyumba. The daughter of faith, leader. Ayule kiongozi wa mabinti wa imani. And our great political leaders. Na viongozi wetu wa kisiasa. The women rep. Mweshimewa Beatrice We had a chat I got to know that you know me Our governor for Kericho The senator for the area Members of parliament MCS And their administration pamoja na wale ambao ni wasimamizi. We want to say a big welcome. Tunataka kuwakaribisha sana. Thank you for coming with the handkerchief to wipe our tears. Asanteni kwa kuja na handkerchief ya kutupangusa machozi. We are greatly blessed to have you. Tumebarikiwa sana kuwa nanyi. Before I let the High Excellency to greet us. Kabla ni mwalike mwishimiwa mchungaji Dorcas kutusalimu. May we take a, one of the most powerful offerings we have ever taken in Kenya. Wacha tutoe sadaka yenye nguvu ambayo hatujawahi kutoa Kenya. And I challenge every one of us to begin at uh, 1000 and going onward. Na namtia kila mmoja wetu changamoto aanzie 1000 na kuendelea waimbaji. Kwaya. Waimbaji. Tunatoa sadaka ya nguvu. Wiki tuna kazi inafanyika si ndio tunahitaji sadaka eh there is a pay bill kule nilikosaliwa wanasema karuwe sadaka itete yesema toa sadaka ambayo haina aibu amen kama unatoka nyanza toa sadaka ambayo hakuna aibu ndani yake mm -hmm. 